did do shit we've never played before together. Uh, but I promise you, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. We're, we're, we're gonna kill it. We're gonna kill it for you guys. We're pretty good. Uh, so all we need to get started is um, a place where someone would work. How about like your, where your grandfather would work? Or railroad. A railroad. That's fantastic. Railroad. <laughs>
That little boy is at school one day. sculpted you himself. You're, a, you're like a classical sculpture. Porcelain skin. <laughs> Classically wavy yet firm hair. <laughs> Muscles that are toned but not overly exaggerated. <laughs> Your wife looked at you but she didn't see you. You see what I'm saying? You're making me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Don't, don't get me wrong, I appreciate I appreciate the goodwill. And uh, the words are pretty. <laughs> I hear nobody talking nice about me in a long time. I don't know what how to Wait a minute. You heard my name? 
You ain't Tex McGinley's kid. <laughs> I sure ain't Tex Holy <laughs> shit! You know my old man? Well, I don't care about it. How you know my old man? You've been in the pen for 40 years. You just got out the joint. <laughs> I knew Tex McGinley when he was a young man. He was just a kid. Before all that nonsense. When he was something. But he wasn't no father to me, that's for sure. Nope. Yeah, you look just like him. <laughs> I was enjoying that view. <laughs> <laughs> the wind messes up my hair. I don't rightly care about your hair. Hey, like I should put some more pomade in. That's just what you need, more pomade. No, oh, no, 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 no. He, he does. <laughs> <laughs> It makes his head more contoured with his cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> you some sort of hairdresser? You some sort of bob or something? Oh, no, no, no. My, I could go for a shave. No, no, no. My, my mother bathed me as a kid. <laughs> so that's how you know about hair. Yeah. You know, body shapes in general. She'd tell, she'd tell me what, what body part she was bathing at any given time. And she'd say, Carl, go on. I'm, I'm washing it. My shoulders. <laughs> and I'd look at him, and I'd go, shoulders, and then I'd remember, and then I'd look deeper, and I'd see, you know, I'd, I'd see underneath the shoulders. That's my ligaments. Yeah, and that's what I would ask her. I'd say, Mom, what's underneath the shoulders? And she'd say, ligaments. <laughs> I've heard this story already. <laughs> anyway, you your hair frames your face very well, and uh, you have a strong jawline. You know, you could, you could be a rodeo uh, a movie star like, like Tom Mix, or uh, uh, like... Uh, Don't pay any no... Don't <laughs> They ain't no cowman, they ain't no horseman. They just show books. Couldn't rope nothing if a uh, rope came up on them and roped them themselves. <laughs> oh, but, but that would be strange. <laughs> hey. Well, there's, there's no B. It's just <laughs> take back the A. That's just that's strange. That would be strange if it happened. <laughs> so Newt, is it? Yeah, Newt. We got at least six hours on this train before we were in a meal and pass it, so we may as well calm the bitch down. My bitch is calm. I just don't like to sit around with strangers as often. I can stay on guard at all times. <laughs> in case a man tries to pull a knife, steal any of my belongings. I got a sizable amount of gold coins. <laughs> got them off of an Indian trader back in New Mexico. Oh. Stabbed him with a knife. Oh. <laughs> Just like the old man. I told you to quit talking about it. <laughs> if I didn't tell you, I'm telling you now. Well, you told me. I just don't care. You a sorry son of a bitch, you know that? You don't even know me, Mr. I don't care to. So if you don't mind, I'll just keep the bitch to myself. And I'll stand over here in my own business. Enjoy looking at that wall. <laughs> I got a treasure map. Do I have the time? You're asking me if I have the time. The time of day. You have the time of day. But if you're asking me if I have the time of day to talk to you, I, I have as long as this ride is. And I can talk to you as long as we're both riding together. If you ask me what time of the day it is, I don't have a timepiece on me. Never mind. 
lead bricks on my feet. I feel like I can fall through any moment. And, you know, I don't care. I don't care. You know why? Because when I look at the trains out there, they're lined up waiting to be delivered to their stations. I don't see trains. I see the eyeballs of my son. <laughs> <laughs> big, square eyeballs. <laughs> I'm looking at boxes. It's weird, but I see them. I don't see the trains. You better watch your rhetoric now, because Phil's looking to fire you. He's looking to fire me? Yeah. He's looking to fire me? Yeah! He's looking to fire me! You realize how many times you try to ask off for some sort of silly familial issue? <laughs> I don't think they're silly, Reg. I think they're important. Your child's birth? <laughs> your, child's, your child's vision? <laughs> your wife's pregnancy? What? what your is wife's that? vision? <laughs> the death of your dog? What is that? The death of your wife? Right, rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm the memo. It's about you dying and you dying only. Sure, I got off last week, but one of my teeth died. <laughs> and a dead tooth. Look, I'm sorry about that. Yeah! I'm real sorry. Yeah, we'll talk to the dead tooth inside my mouth. How does it make sense? Exactly. <laughs> I keep it in a jar. I was gonna cremate it and spread it over all parts of the farm. There's more, more bad news about the 535. Hello, I'm here to wait for my control, and uh, <laughs> uh, the train does not seem to be arriving any time soon. We expect it. I believe she's on 535. This is the, uh, this is the control station. Usually, the, the passengers can't just wait in here. We're I'm not a passenger, my friend. I'm kind of a side. Hi. <laughs> you like the king of a town? You're a king of a town. I thought this was a democracy here in this part of town. Yes. We're not a state yet. And until that time comes, which I hope it never does, I will remain the sire of Ah, <laughs> one of the German settlers. Yes, that's right. <laughs> anyway, can I some coffee or something? That would be fine. You know, Phil's not going to like this. He's not going to like this one bit. Gentlemen, my fiance is on the 535. I was wondering if you have any information as to when it might be arriving. Your fiance is on the 535. That's right. You're betrothed. The woman is going to be your wife. Yes, that's what a fiance means. <laughs> this, is, this is incredible. We, yeah, we can sure. help this man. No be comfortable while he waits for his family. Don't you see? Don't you see? This is why we're here. This is why we work late tonight. So this man could come in and get coffee and wait for his betrothed in warmth. <laughs> Can we do anything else? <laughs> what time will the 5.35 be? Well, it's, at this point, it's, it's really late. Like, really late. It's two hours late. late. Two, two hours, hours more. Two hours more. It's already been. Already been two hours. It's going to be an additional. <laughs> well, it's, been like it's been like 16 hours. We're way on the track pretty much most of the day. It just occurred to me that there might be somebody in this shack. 11.35 is when it's supposed to get in, right now. But we've had communications between here and Dalestown that have been cut off. You say P knuckle? <laughs> we could get a hot game. Warmed up. Yeah, nothing better to do but wait. I suppose not. Hot game of peanut, huh? Yeah. How do you play peanut? <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I just sit here and teach you how to play peanut. Well, we got the time. I have hours. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard about it in the magazine. <laughs> Read about it, of course. <laughs> ah, I think I heard engines. I think I heard engines. Did you hear that? Why did the train stop? Whoa, what? What do you hear? <laughs> I think I heard engines. <laughs> it did. I don't it know. <laughs> Choctaw, coming over the ridge, making you feel comfortable. Don't you want to feel as comfortable 
This whole place used to be an old burial ground. We were trespassing. The souls of dead folk. We tried to make a peace treaty. That's why communication's been come. Dale Town. Phil tried to make a peace treaty about five years ago when we first marked this spot. <laughs> we'll be taking over this land. <laughs> this land right over here. Okay. Ten yards by this ten yards. I broke it off.
want to shave. <laughs> oh, there he is. That's my betrothed. Compensation will be uh, doubled. We'll be bringing in somebody else. Sorry guys, I just had to grab some of my things. Um, I'm dead, so I'm taking the day off. <laughs> 